Hello and welcome back. This is video number three. We're going to talk about similar interests. In specific, we're going to take a look at what we call affinity audiences within the Facebook Audience Insights tool. And what this is, is they are audiences that are related to the generic or general audience. So for example, if you think about maybe basketball, somebody who's interested in sports or basketball, they may be interested in other things like running. And that would be an affinity audience. Now, the reason why we want to take a look at this is what this allows us to do is it allows us to broaden the amount of content that we can create. So let me go ahead and show you some examples of them. Okay, so I'm back at the Facebook Audience Insights free tool. And what we want to do is we want to click on page likes. Now we're going to ignore this right now and we're going to scroll down to this section here. Now this section here allows us to see the page likes, kind of where they hang out. We'll talk about that more later on, but for now it says affinity. So what Facebook will do is it will give you a number for the location. So for example, the Spruce has about 95,000 people, 1.2 million people on Facebook, and the affinity level is 159. So what that means is the Spruce is very, very closely related in terms of the people in that audience. And it also tells you what your audience is potentially interested in. So they might be interested in boutiques, scholastic parents, Joanne Fabric and Craft Stores. This is an actual local brick and mortar store that sells fabric. That makes sense because they're into knitting. And these might be actual stores. So Pink Coconut Boutique, the Modern Vintage Boutique, and more. So Blueprint is actually an online course site. So they're probably going there to learn about knitting, but we can get an idea of how closely related it really is. And based upon that, we can broaden our content. 